Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we are documenting something crazy um, and exciting and kind of scary. So I have been blonde for like two years and today we are going to go back brown to brunette which is my natural hair color and I've been blonde for a long time and there is still some pink left in there from when I went hot pink but now it's mostly back to blonde and I just want to do a change my boyfriend wants me to go back brunette my family said I should go back brunette so I'm just going to take a leap of faith and go back to my natural color which is brunette so it'll be a fun change I went to CVS and we got a hair dye this is the L'Oreal Feria, and this is in the shade 50 medium brown. So we're just going to use a good old box dye. I am changed into my dyeing sweatshirt. That's why it looks all weird. <laughs> and we are just going to go to town dyeing my hair. I hope it turns out good because it will be nice to not have to bleach my roots every like month. That'll be nice. Feria is a good brand. I, when I went silver, I got Feria, so I know it's a good brand. So you got your instructions with the gloves, and then you have your shimmering conditioning developer cream, which is step two. You have the power shimmer conditioner, step four i think this is just conditioner for your hair after you wash it out then you have your shimmering conditioning color gel which would be the brown step one and then step three is the aromatic shimmer serum which i'm pretty sure is probably like argan oil or something like that so you get some cute black gloves i think that the brown will look more like healthy and more nice which is good So I just finished applying the whole thing to my head, as you can see, a little brown piece there. So I am putting the plastic bag on. I'm going to leave it for probably 30 to 45 minutes, and then I will wash it out and show you the finished product. Hey guys, so excuse my pajamas because it is nighttime, so I switched my pajamas. But I washed it out, I left it in for about half an hour and washed it out and conditioned it, and it's looking good. Um, it looks more kind of like a very ashy brown. Um, still seems like I might see some like lightness towards the ends. Like the, the top part looks good. I like how the top came out. That looks like a good brown with the bottom because that's where I bleached it so much. Um, looks more kind of like a gray, but that's okay. I'm gonna see how it looks in the morning once it's all dry and everything. I can always get another box tomorrow and like a darker brown or something if I need to, so. Alright, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so it is the next day, and as you can see, my hair is definitely darker, um, but it turned out a lot more like gray for my frizzy hair. It is definitely like a lot more gray, um, especially at the ends. The roots are like pretty good with the brown, but the ends are like gray and I did my research and the reason why that is is because when you bleach your hair it takes out all of the colors so it's just left with a yellow tone base and in order to get brown you need red tones in your hair 
So I made a trip to Sally's and I got this. It's called Protein Color Filler by the brand Colorful and it is in shade 10 Red Red. So you need this red stuff and then you have to put it all over your hair and it's gonna make your hair kind of red and it's gonna add that red protein color filler to your hair. And then after that is done washing out, then we're gonna go in with this color box dye. This is the L'Oreal Paris um, 5A Medium Ash Brown. I watched the girl's tutorial and she used both of these together and her hair came out really like gorgeous, like a chocolatey brown, so that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna use that after. My hair feel nice and soft after all of this. I got this sparkle hair mask, super hydrating mask. It's a vegan formula with a touch of pink shimmer for dry hair and it's birthday cake scented. So this sold me. So I am going to apply this protein color all over my hair. I'm gonna let it sit and then I'll wash it off and then I'm going to put this dye on and wash it off and then I will show you the finished result. dyed it with the other box dye and then I washed it out and I curled it and this is the final result. It's perfect. Just what I wanted is this literally pretty much looks exactly like my natural color which I'm really happy about. I'm really happy. It came out really awesome. I'm so glad it finally came to the color I wanted and I hope you guys like this tutorial and thank you for coming along with me on this hair journey and um thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you for coming along with me i hope you love my hair as much as i do and have a wonderful day